you know, people didn't follow Jesus just because of the way he spoke and what he taught. Yeah, that, that was very important. I'm not saying it wasn't important. But they followed Jesus because of the way he lived, what he did, how he embodied his words. He was no hypocrite. He truly loved everybody. He truly wanted to see the kingdom of heaven inside everybody. And that's the way I look at pastors today. That's the way I look at churches. Not always about what they're preaching and what they're teaching. That's important, but I'm not going to agree with a lot of things. So if I judged it based on that, then I would never go to church. Because every church says things that I don't agree with. But I do follow the heart. And the way preachers are behaving, the way the churches I've gone to have behaved, no, they're not trying to be like Jesus. Not, I'm not saying all of them. I do go to one that, that I, I still go to. I still respect him. Because he tries his damnedest to do what he believes Jesus would do. I'll take a week ago Sunday, my wife going to a church that we've been going to for a few years now that we absolutely loved. She loved it. My daughter, my five-year-old absolutely adored the kids program. I didn't agree with everything he taught, but I agreed with his heart. However, not allowing service dogs because somebody might be allergic is the most piece of shit thing I've ever heard of in a church. Who does that? Somebody might get allergic to it. Well, they can see the dog go to the other side of the building. That takes precedence over somebody that is obviously dealing with some sort of trauma. A person's possible allergies is more important than somebody's trauma. So you want people to go to your church to get healed of allergies, but you don't want them to come to help with the trauma they're dealing with now. So you kick out the person with the dog and you destroy the little girl because she absolutely loved it. She loved the kids there. She had friends. Her best friend was there. And now she won't ever see her best friend again. Not there. All because my wife and I have a service dog. And that's what's wrong with churches. That's why, what's wrong with pastors. That's what you care about is the PC culture. Screw your PC. Jesus would have not done that at all. I know we're not all going to agree what Jesus would and wouldn't do, but that's something he definitely would not have done. We need to do better. Now, I still, I, I still think highly of the church and the things that it does. But I'll never attend again. My wife will never attend. My daughter will never attend. People that know our story probably won't attend. So if you have allergies, that church is the place you need to go because they will take care of you. But if you have any kind of physical trauma, if you have any kind of mental post-traumatic stress disorder trauma, if you have anything that you're dealing with and you need a service animal, You're not welcome there. And I am fighting the urge to not say the name of the church because I believe in accountability. But I don't want to cancel them because unfortunately we live in a society that people cancel people very quickly. And I don't want to cancel them. I just won't go. But why can't preachers and churches start trying to be more like Jesus? instead of being more politically correct, have better marketing campaigns. Who cares? The world was a happier place when people were less politically correct. People got taken care of. 
it's not supposed to be you that that one percent that has allergies or transgender or needs a certain pronoun they get taken care of and screw everybody else that's not the world we live in it shouldn't be do better or maybe remember the 90s when it said what would jesus do i think pastors need to start remembering that phrase what would jesus do what did jesus do it's not what you're doing hey guys i want to personally thank everyone for liking and sharing my videos uh if you want to continue to see my content all you got to do is press that subscribe button and i'll notify you as soon as a new video comes out i don't get paid for any of this so if you want to buy some of my merch like my shirts like jesus is a badass or my don't be a dick shirt uh you can easily go to my merch store which is at sogtv.org which i will have it in the description at the every video so push that go buy yourself a shirt i appreciate it have a blessed day and i will see you at the next episode thank you